qualifying for our upcoming special championship series. He's gone straight into week two of that. We'll be telling you more details of it as we go along. But Monday night, we start with three brand new maiden handicappers. Never performed before. Pat Sumner, welcome to you. What can you tell us about yourself, Thank Pat? Thank you, Tony. Um, I'm originally from Sydney. I've lived in Brisbane about three years. Right. Um, it's warmer there. Kept, yes, yes. Has a lot going for it. Yep. Um, kept very busy up there with a the big family and right. various interests. And, and you've come to win some money. Well, perhaps. Good luck to you, Pat. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> welcome to Pat Sumner. Lindsay Dunn, tell us about you, Lindsay. Evening, Tony. Yes, so I'm married with two young children, three and five. Hello, yep. Sarah and Rosie. Got to do that. Uh, that's right. And um, I work for Telecom as a sales executive. The little orange spot. Well, it's changed a bit lately, hasn't it? The last the uh, big orange spot. The orange upside yeah, people. Last couple of months. Yeah, Telecom. It certainly has. Lindsay, it's good to have you here. Wish you luck, Lindsay Dunn. Everyone. Thank you. And Maria Wiseman. Tony. What about you, Maria? Well, I used to be 30-something. When I'm, I used to be 30-something. Right. And when I'm not working or looking after family, I like to read and do cryptic crossword puzzles. Fantastic. That's a good thing to do because that'll help you in the game I here. I certainly hope so. A little bit of crypticism. Good luck to Maria Wiseman, everyone. Picture from Wheeler's Hill. So let's find out who our brand new champion is going to be as the money goes up. And being a Monday night, we start with this week, things that have happened this week in history. Cars in films. JFK, Fermentation, Bookish, and on the end, to be sure, to be sure, it's Irish. Luck of the Irish. Now, what happened, um, because we don't have a champion, we tossed. And, Pat, you won the toss, they tell me. Right, Tony. Hey? Let's do it, Pat. Uh, Irish for 100, thank you. For 100, apart from the coffee, Irish coffee must contain this ingredient. Pat. What is Irish whiskey? Correct. Do it again. Uh, Irish for 150. Thanks. This Atlantic red seaweed is harvested in Ireland for use in cough medicine and foods. Lindsay. What is Irish moss? What is Irish moss? Lindsay's off the mark, yes. Go again. JFK for 100, please. Tony. For 100. In the 1960 elections, Kennedy narrowly defeated this man to become president. Pat. Uh, who is Richard Nixon? Correct, Pat. Do it again. Uh, JFK for 150. For 150, in 1961, Kennedy announced that by the end of the decade, men would travel to this place and return safely. Pat. Uh, what is the moon? To the moon, to the moon. Pick again. JFK for 200. Many are now sceptical, but the Warren Commission found that this man alone was JFK's assassin. Lindsay. Who was Lee Harvey Oswald? That's right. JF shed. JFK for 250. For 250. At his father's urging, Kennedy appointed this man as the Attorney General in his administration. Pat. Uh, who is Robert Kennedy? Robert Kennedy's right. Um, One more. JFK for 300. For 300? This Hollywood siren gave a sultry rendition of Happy Birthday to you at JFK's 45th birthday party. Maria. Who is Marilyn Monroe? Good to hear from you, Maria's into the game there at 300. Everybody's away on JFK. Uh, Bookish 100, please. Bookish 100. This reference set sold 3,000 copies in Edinburgh in 1768, but it's now published by a US company. Lindsay. What is the Encyclopedia Britannica? Correct. Bookish 150. This American is the successful writer of Dream Merchants, Carpetbaggers and Adventurers. Pat. Uh, who is Harold Robbins? That's the guy. And um, again. Irish for 200. Irish for 200. With a shoulder height exceeding one metre, this breed and the Great Dane are the world's tallest dogs. Lindsay. What is the Irish wolfhound? Yes, it's a big one, that one. What is, uh, sorry, Irish 250? For 250, St. Patrick crossed this waterway by boat when he took Christianity to Ireland in 432 AD. Maria. And what is the Irish Channel? No. No. Pat. Uh, what is the Irish Sea? What is the Irish Sea? Which is not the Channel, but the Sea. So your selection, Pat? Uh, Irish for 300, thank you. It's the Daily Double, good one to get. Faith and Bigora, and it's all there in its green and gold as well, Pat, for you. The Daily Double, how much of your $1,000 uh, do you want to risk? 400 thanks, Tony. Just the 400 OK, unopposed, set shot. The Irish coat of arms depicts this traditional Irish instrument. Uh, what is the harp? Pat, the harp is correct. Well done. Goes to $1,400. Select. Uh, bookish for 200 Bookish 200 Tony. James Joyce once calculated he had spent 20,000 hours writing this epic of a single day in Dublin. Lindsay. What is the Dubliners? No. Anyone else? What is Ulysses? Great James Joyce book. Anyone? Uh, let's see. Pat, you. Uh, bookish for 250. Thank for 250? Tuberculosis killed him at 25, yet this poet's ode to a nightingale will be long remembered. 
Lindsay. Who was Keats? John Keats, yes. Bookish 300. This British author has sold over 500 million copies of her 500 or so romantic books. Lindsay. Who was Barbara Cartland? Yes, there they go. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't we, at this highly appropriate moment, with three gone and three to go in Jeopardy 1, take a short break. We'll be back very soon. <laughs> Stevens injuries. I can't move my arm. Are more than just physical. I don't remember having a wife. And why is Lauren so concerned? I don't know what I can do to hold on to him. About Beth and Brad. Just tell him I've decided to go on our honeymoon. Find out on Neighbours 6:30 tonight. Enjoy low rates on calls to the UK, USA, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Italy. How? Just dial one first, and it'll only cost you ten dollars for ten minutes. Get your appetite ready for the chalkboard specials at Sizzler. Three mouth-watering additions to the Sizzler menu for a short time only. A juicy steak topped with tasty peppercorn sauce. Oriental orange chicken. Or golden crumbed calamari. Served with our famous all-you-can-eat salad bar. And all for just $14.50. Now that's something good. Oh, you won't beat Gretsch by a long, long stretch For heating and cooling, you won't beat Gretsch Where the specialists to call when the winter chills grow cold We'll fit you out with heating and we won't be undersold Oh, you won't beat Gretsch by a long, long stretch For heating and cooling, you won't beat Gretsch Where the specialists to call when the weather's blazing hot Our expert team will cool you down, now that'll hit the spot No, you won't beat Gretsch by a long, long stretch For heating and cooling, you won't beat Gretsch only one movie has the greatest war hero. The most evil dictator. The most incredibly exotic women. And the most amazing action. Hot Shots 2. We are doing it in Jeopardy 1 and looking, of course, for a new champion after last week's excitement. Now, Lindsay in charge here. Lindsay. Fermentation for 100, please. For 100. Time. A popular beverage is made from these leaves which turn black when fermented. Lindsay. What is tea? Yeah. Fermentation 150. This popular German dish consists of fermented cabbage. Maria. What is sauerkraut? Sauerkraut, jawohl. Uh, fermentation 200. 200. The word ferment comes from fervere, meaning to boil in this ancient language. Maria? What is Latin? Latin is right. Fermentation 250, thank you. For 250, you. buttermilk, cheese and yoghurt are produced when milk is fermented by these microorganisms. Lindsay? What are bacteria? Yes. Fermentation 300. When yeast is used to ferment dough, it makes this gas which causes bread to rise. Lindsay? What is carbon dioxide? That's correct, and fermentation's all gone too left. <laughs> Lindsay? Cars in films, 100 times. For 100, this star of the 1969 car racing movie Winning is also a cool hand on the track in his spare time. Pat. Uh, who is Paul Newman? Correct. Uh, cars in films for 150. Fleets of cars were destroyed in this 1980 cult movie starring Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi. Lindsay. What is the Blues Brothers? That's right. Cars in films, 200. The car in the Australian film Malcolm had this unusual ability. Lindsay. What is to be divided in half? That's right, split in half. Funny Cars films. in films 250. For 250, Rex Harrison, Shirley MacLaine and Ingrid Bergman were in this 1964 comedy, but the real star was the roller. Good film. What was? The Yellow Rolls Royce. Mm. And you knew it, didn't you? But you didn't say it. Never mind. Still you, Lindsay. Cars in films for 300. For 300? Have a look at this. Here we go. Jeff Bridges played the title role of Preston Tucker in the 1988 movie of the making of This Car. What is a tucker? <laughs> what is a tucker? Uh -huh. That was the name of the movie, that was the name of the car. Not perhaps the most successful box office film of its year, but still. Um, Lindsay. Better have this week for 200. For 200? The first of these famous events was held at Farnborough, UK, 1950. Pat. Uh, what is the British air show? Mm, yeah, British air show. Air show's the one we mm. wanted. Go. Um, this week for 150. For 150, this US colonel was given a suspended prison sentence in 1989 for his role in the Iran Contra affair. Pat. Uh, who is Oliver North? Correct. 
Colonel Oliver. This week for 100? For 100 in July 1950, RAF number 77 squadron took its Mustangs into action for the first time in this war. Lindsay. What is the Korean War? Correct, and Lindsay doing very well there. Two left. This week for 250. For 250, Swanee River and Beautiful Dreamer were just two of the works of this composer born in 1826. Pat. Who is Stephen Foster? Correct. Good one. Uh, this week Everybody for Everybody gets it. For 300. Yes. Things. In 1956, oh, yes, okay. this US president confirmed he would run for a second term in office. Oh. And you knew so much about JFK, but not the man who immediately preceded him, who is Eisenhower. Not to worry. Good finish and a good start for that matter, too. All right. Now, very interesting. Do you know what this week is by any chance? Uh, Venetia, Venetia Scott, everyone. Monday nights, Venetia. Hello. Hi, Tony. Um, it's National. National Aboriginal Week. Aboriginal Week is correct, yes. Now, the reason I wanted you to point that out, by the way, Aboriginal nation, owners of land since time began, this week will promote the Aboriginal cultural and heritage and increase community awareness. Now, Maria, we switch immediately to Maria. Maria, what was the most interesting thing that happened to you when you were on the dance floor one night? A world champion was involved? He wouldn't let me lead. Who was it? Lionel Rose. There you go. Danced with a world champion. I certainly did. And that's something you'll remember. He was a great fighter. Are you a boxing fan, Maria? Uh, I was back in those days. Yeah. He was one of my heroes. Heck of a fighter. He was I mean, everybody's he hero. He had style, he had class, he had punching power. And if you're watching Lionel, good on you, mate. And Maria, see if you can deliver a knockout blow in double jeopardy. I'll certainly try. OK, Maria, good to have you here. Lindsay, you play in the, the guitar and sing. Yes, I do, Tony. I've been doing it for quite a while now. Professionally? Semi-professionally? Have done, yes. What sort of material? Oh, James Taylor, Neil Young, Jim Croce, Don McLean. You name it. Just one man, one guitar sort of stuff. And listen, very nice to have a little extra on the coming on the side. Doesn't hurt. You bet. It's good to have you here. What do you sell, by the way, as a sales executive? Well, mainly I see my job as selling telecom to companies, of but uh, sell telecommunication solutions. Those sort of things. Lindsay Dunn has the lead at the moment. Pat challenging hard. Pat has six children, nine grandchildren, and that's appropriate because you're into genealogy. Yes, that's right, Tony. Yes. What, where do your family come from, Pat? Uh, Ireland, originally. Ireland? Yes, Lovely. yes. So uh, it keeps me fairly busy just exploring the, uh, the Australian side. Because once you start, before. I mean, it's just opening Pandora's box, isn't I it? I know. Yeah, Let's no. close it because <laughs> we've got to have a break. See you shortly. Double Jeopardy coming up. The lieutenants on the road to disaster. Now, I understand that you worked very closely with the victim. In a case that will test both his body as well as his mind. Columbo, tonight on 10. Pepperoni! I love it! It's here for all you pepperoni lovers. Pizza Hut's $10.90 large pepperoni I supreme. Topped with toasted pepperoni, mushrooms, onions and capsicum. Phone 131166 now and get a large pepperoni supreme delivered for just $10.90. Or with any other pizza as part of a $19.90 pears deal. Pizza Hut's pepperoni supreme. Supreme value delivered now on 131166. Surprising the difference a little healthy competition can make. Prices come down, standards of service go up. If you have a mobile phone or have called long distance recently, you'll have noticed the difference Optus has made. And we're going to keep on innovating and improving. If that sounds good to you, just say the word. By a long, long stretch For heating and cooling You won't be Gretsch Where 
weather specialists to call when the winter chills blow cold. We'll fit you out with heating and we won't be undersold. Oh, you won't beat Gretsch by a long, long stretch. For heating and cooling, you won't beat Gretsch. Weather specialists to call when the weather's blazing hot. Our expert team will cool you down, now that'll hit the spot. No, you won't beat Gretsch by a long, long stretch. For heating and cooling, you won't beat Gretsch. We've been working hard here tonight. Hope you're enjoying the show. It's Jeopardy. We've come to Double Jeopardy where your opportunity players to make money is unparalleled. I mean, it really goes up here, as you've seen from last week. And uh, you've got the big chances. Two Double Jeopardies hidden away within these blocks. The money. And the categories are awards, mountains, female fame, cocktail mixes, world famous paintings, and the games people play. Like, for instance, Jeopardy! With $400, Maria. I don't like any of those, but I'll go for mountains. Do you want me to change them? Yes, Just please. a second. Yes, There's no trouble, you. really. <laughs> mountains if you for only 200. knew how easy that would <laughs> do it again. Mountains for 200, please. Mountains! 200. A Polish patriot who led an uprising in 1794 gave his name to this Aussie mountain. Lindsay. What is Mount Kosciuszko? That's right, after the Polish Patriot, again. Cocktail mixes 200, For please. 200, this is a Bloody Mary without the vodka. Lindsay. What is tomato juice? No, tomato juice is not a cocktail. A Virgin Mary is a cocktail. Let's try cocktail mixes for 300. I'm a glutton for punishment. OK, carpenters love these drinks made with orange juice and vodka. Lindsay. What is a screwdriver? Correct, again. Cocktail mixes 400. Daily Taco! Big chance to bet here, Lindsay. $2,400, why don't you double it? Do you think he should double it? Yeah! Lindsay. What do you reckon? $1,400, please, Tony. You've been around these places singing and playing guitar and drinking cocktails, so $1,400? $1,400. OK, unopposed set shot. Apart from the orange juice and vodka, you'll need this to make a Harvey Wallbanger. What is? What is Galliano? That's the one! He's done it! $3,800. Pick again, Lindsay. Cocktail mixes for 500. Named for the New York borough, you start these with whiskey and vermouth. Pat. Uh, what is Manhattan? Correct. And I like a lemon twist. Beautiful. Silver uh, bullet. Pat. Mountains for 300. Thanks, Tony. Mountains 300. In reply to the query, why do you want to climb Mount Everest? George Mallory replied with these famous words. Lindsay. What is because it was there? Yes, because it's there. Well played. Mountains for 400. Named after an Indian tribe. The Adirondacks are a mountain range in this U.S. state. Pat. Uh, what is New York? That's correct. Go again. Mountains for 500. Britain's highest mountain is in this country. Lindsay. What is Scotland? Correct, Ben Nevis. Cocktail mixes 1,000. For $1,000, you can use gin or vodka mixed with lime juice to make one of these. No takers for... Very nice drink, actually. Quite pleasant. Not that I'm one to do it too much. Gimlet. A gimlet. What is a gimlet? Try it after the show. <laughs> Lindsay. Female fame 200. Female fame 200. A rock formation in the Sydney domain is named after this supportive wife of an early emancipist governor. Pat. What is Mrs Macquarie's As... chair? Yes, well, Mrs Macquarie was really all we wanted. Oh, sorry. But that's all right. Right. You threw in the chair as well. <laughs> Very nice. Female fame for 300. For 300? A real lady, she was the world's first and only chief girl guide. Lindsay. Who was Lady Baden-Powell? That's the girl, yes, sir. Female fame, 400. You've done it again. Look at this. By golly gee, by whisk. 4,900, Lindsay. What are you going to uh, Make it 2,000. $2,000 this time. He's getting the idea. This name was sometimes used to refer to Mary Mallon, noted US fever carrier. Who is? Who Lindsay. is Typhoid Mary? That's the one, yes, sir. Typhoid Mary, 6,900, Lindsay. Female fame, 500. This Scottish heroine helped Prince Charles Edward Stewart escape after Culloden. Oh, do you know Ken Flora MacDonald? No. Oh, what a shame. Flora MacDonald was helping him there. Lindsay. May as well make it female fame 1,000. For a time. grand. For a grand. She was the US Democratic vice presidential candidate in 1984. There she is, Lindsay. Who was Geraldine Ferraro? Geraldine Ferraro is correct. Female fame all gone. Lindsay. Games people play for 300, please. For time. 300. Nice figure. This Australian golfer won five British Opens and was awarded an MBE. 
Do you know Ken Peter Thompson? Peter Thompson? <laughs> what a heck of a player. Five British Opens. Not bad, eh? Peter Thompson. And now designs golf courses. Great player. Uh, pick it again, Lindsay. Uh, games people play 200. For 200? All you need is a cork board and some feathered missiles for this popular pub game. Lindsay. What is darts? What is darts, right? Again? Games people play for 400. This is the highest scoring hand in a game of poker. Lindsay. What is a royal routine? Yes, royal flush, royal routine again. The games people play for 500. Have a look at this. According to Forbes magazine, this Chicago Bull is the world's highest paid athlete. Lindsay. Who is Magic Johnson? No. Maria. Who is Michael Jordan? That's the one. Good for you, Maria. That's the one you needed to get you going. <laughs> Annual income estimated at $35 million. Thank you very much. Slam dunk your way through that. Maria. Famous paintings, 300, please. For 300. These are all visuals, by the way. Painted by Jackson Pollock and owned by the Australian people. <coughs> Lindsay. What is Blue Poles? Correct. Famous paintings for 500. For 500. Painted by Dutchman Franz Hals. <coughs> Maria. What is the Laughing Cavalier? Correct. Well played. Select. Uh, famous paintings, 1,000. For $1,000. Look closely. This is La Primavera, and you'll see it in Florence. It's the work of this great Renaissance painter. <coughs> Lindsay. Who is Botticelli? Botticelli, yes, sir. Any more? Go again, Lindsay. Famous paintings, 400. For 400, usually painted on animal skins. These are symbols of this indigenous people. Lindsay. Was the American Indians? That is correct, yes. World famous paintings 200. Nearly through it. Known as arrangement in grey and black number one, it also has this name. Pay, uh, Pat. Uh, what is Whistler's mother? That's the one. We swept through world famous paintings. Pick again, please, Pat. Uh, mountains for a thousand. Mountains a thousand, also known as Holy Mountain. This Greek peak is renowned for its many orthodox monasteries. No takers for Mount Athos. Mount Athos. Your selection, Pat? Uh, awards for 200, things. Awards 200. Some war veterans returned their medals in protest when this singing group's members were awarded the MBE. Pat? Who were the Beatles? That's right. Uh, awards for 300. The Victoria Cross depicts a bronze lion on a crown with these two words. <coughs> Lindsay. What is for valour? What is for valour is right, Lindsay. And that means there's a minute to go, four categories left, Lindsay. Awards 1,000. For 1,000, awarded in the US since 1917. These prizes take their name from the newspaper magnate who endowed them. Maria. What is the Pulitzer Prize? That's a good one for you, Maria. You're right in the thick of things again. Pick it. Okay, awards 500. Awards 500. Replicas of a Stan Cross drawing known as Stanley's are awarded annually to these black and white illustrators. Lindsay. What a cartoonist. That's right, two. Two to go. Awards for 400. For 400, the Gold Palm Award is made at this French film festival. <coughs> Lindsay. What is Cannes? That's right, and just that one, everybody gets it. This remarkable man represented Australia in four sports. Diving, polo, boxing and rugby union. <coughs> Lindsay. Who was Messenger? No. Bad loss. Anyone else? Who is Snowy Baker, the legendary Snowy Baker? That cleans it up. Well played, everyone. We got through them. Got through them. A couple of interesting points arising. Gold Palm, of, of course, the Gold Palm Award, Palm Door. Very much publicity about that with uh, the piano, was it? Winning it recently? Jane Campion. New Zealand, yeah, Jane, Jane Campion. Jane Campion. Mm. Okay, look, um, everyone's scored. Lindsay's got mm, a bit of an advantage here, but there'll be prizes as well. Venetia? Tonight's second place contestant will be on a weekend escape to the Beachcomber Resort, Tukli. Your waterfront location provides access to a range of water sports such as windsurfing, paraflying, canoeing and fishing. You'll stay in the executive waterfront suite with dinner in Ripple's restaurant and full buffet breakfast. And you'll fly to your weekend escape with Australian Airlines. With the compliments of Brashes, our third place contestant will receive an Akai CD stereo radio cassette recorder featuring three beam laser pickup. Another high quality product from Akai. Thank you very much, Venetia. Righto, let's get right into this. Final Jeopardy time. Our players have to decide how much to risk on this Monday night in the category of... Mm, yeah, big cats. Big cats. We'll be back after this break to see how they go with their betting and their winning and losing. We'll be back. On Hinch tonight at 7 o'clock, the heartbreaking plight of an elderly woman whose only home is her car. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Plus, the sect that is buying up a country town. That's life, that's Hinch, tonight at 7. Pepperoni, I love it. It's 
here for all you pepperoni lovers. Pizza Hut's $10.90 Large Pepperoni Supreme. Topped with toasted pepperoni, mushrooms, onions and capsicum. Phone 131166 now and get a Large Pepperoni Supreme delivered for just $10.90. Or with any other pizza as part of the $19.90 pairs deal. Pizza Hut's Pepperoni Supreme. Supreme value delivered now on... 131166! Enjoy low rates on calls to the UK, USA, Hong Kong, Singapore and Italy. How? Just dial one first and it'll only cost you $10 for 10 minutes. There's nothing like life with a boat. The freedom, the relaxation. And it's so easy to get into boating. At the boat show, you can find out about all the fun you can have with a boat. There's heaps to see and do. It's great fun. And there's loads of activities for all the family. Ready to go, Skip Eber? Right up, matey. So bring the whole family down this week and discover why life is better with a boat. Win a $20,000 dream holiday at the Club Marine National Boat Show from July 1 to 7. Get up to the minute snow conditions in Australia and New Zealand by ringing Channel 10 Snowline on 0055 You also have the chance to win a fantastic ski holiday in New Zealand from Guthrie Pacific. So get set for the best ski of your life. Ring now. Righto, let's make it a quick one. Final Jeopardy going in to Big Cats, everybody. The clue is, with the scientific name Panthera Onca, this is the largest member of the cat family found in the new world. You have 30 seconds. Good luck. Your time starts now. up let's go maria wiseman pen down please maria what is your response what give it, was, it to us it was going to be what is a black panther what is the black panther is wrong sorry and you risked um 2300 there she blows sorry pat sumner 3600 going in what did you say i also said what is panther mm, that clue was picked up incorrectly your uh, risk uh, 3500 3500 takes you back there and lindsay dunn what have you said please what is a mountain lion? Mountain lion? No, sorry, no mountain lion. How much did you risk? I piked out with 1900 there, Tony. Not a bad move, actually. Did you? With $8,000, you're the winner. Good work. Now, business, business, business. At home, the Panthera Onca. What is the Jaguar? That big New World, South America? Big Jaguar. Okay, let's wrap it up. $100 each, but in fact, going in, Pat, you were marginally ahead. So, Maria, you've copped the brashes, Akai CD Stereo Radio. Thank you very much for playing, Maria Wiseman. Thank you. And Pat Sumner is leaving us with the weekend for two of the Beach Camera Resort, Tukley Flying Australian Airlines. Good on you, Pat. Thank you. Lindsay, who put in a great performance right up to Final Jeopardy, is back tomorrow night as champ. See you then. Keep smiling. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank you. Jeopardy is produced by Jim McKay Productions for Network 10. The lieutenant's on the road to disaster in a case that will test both his body... I think I hurt my neck. ...as well as his mind. Columbo, tonight.